Ah, okay. It's time for the first comment. It's uh, 12.33. And uh, uh, I've been working on the backroom computer. I'm going to ho hopefully add a few new features to the show this uh, today, actually. The goal is to... Um, Whenever I comment on somebody's uh, YouTube account, I want it to appear here uh, in the show as well. So uh, what I will be doing, I'll be making two comments today as I went around YouTube and I found uh, something I can comment on. Uh, I will uh, 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 basically put the clip up first and uh, attached to it will be my comment. So uh, uh, the person who... I'm commenting on can see that as well the people on the show can see this who are, who are viewing the show can see this as well so I hope that will work out uh, I'm also still working on the uh, Vasilopita video uh, the uh, sort of the second montage that's going to come up on here uh, still have a lot of coding work to do uh, there seems to be a um, a lot of disorganization in the uh, Linux community where it's not necessarily their fault because it's, it's the community is a loosely based community where uh, people come and go as they choose and so uh, there's no real tracking of code in, ter in terms of seeing which code is the best and which code uh, needs to be improved and uh, uh, those types of things so uh, what I hope to do is I'm, I'm continuing to uh, map out the uh, Linux environment to see uh, what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done. Uh, I've found uh, there, there seems to be a disconnect between uh, the GNOME and the KDE environment. Uh, that's one of the areas I'd like to work on to sort of uh, smooth uh, the operation. Open Desktop, e even though... The, is a is a view that all programs, no matter what desktop they are designed to run in, should run equally well on each other's desktops. So there's basically three main desktops: uh, GNOME, KDE, and uh, X. These are the three main desktop desktops that uh, are used by the community. Uh, Ubuntu just uh, the uh, about uh, actually since version 11 uh, this for, so it's been about a year now introduced a new desktop called unity which uh, was based on the control of Compiz. that still has a long way to go because it violates a lot of the principles of open desktop in that it's not backwards compatible one of the things with about, about Linux, and I was uh, actually at uh, my my parents' house last night uh, doing laundry and having dinner, uh, and I brought uh, some videos uh, of Christmas and the Vasilopita over to upload to my dad's computer. My dad still, uh, when he bought his machine, it came with Vista, and he's still on Vista. So I went to plug in... Uh, the uh, camera to upload the stuff and I had just recently done that on my computer uh, uh, my Linux machine it took about seven to ten minutes on my machine but when I went to my dad's machine it took close to an hour to do that um, so it, it, it th this is where you look at if you look at Linux uh, on a machine by machine uh, comparison, where the machines are are in, certain, in many ways equally um, equally configured. So his machine was a two two gigabyte gigabyte machine. My machine was a two gigabyte machine. Uh, the processors were pro approximately equal. So by those that by that hardware spec, the upload times should have been about the same, but it wasn't. So, uh, and this is sort of what brings up this whole whole uh, issue between Linux and uh, Windows, is that while 
people may point out some of the bugginess of Linux. With Linux, I've always been able to find a workaround and find something that, that where I have a solution on the desktop. Where in Windows, when a problem came up, there really wasn't a solution. There wasn't really any way to go around this. So, when you compare uh, uh, it, and this even is, you know, <clears throat> this even extends to when you're upgrading from one Windows version to the next Windows version. That let's say you upgrade uh, from you upgraded from uh, XP to Vista and then to Seven. Well, you're going to have a problem getting some of your software wor that worked on XP working on. Uh, on, on, on Vista and then on 7, and even if it's Microsoft's own product, you're going to have a hard time getting it to run. So never mind about, about you know, loading uh, how many, how many, uh, uh, the size uh, file that you can load in Excel. Windows has a hard time loading its own software from version to version, even when you talk about uh, files. Files don't easily migrate from version to version in Microsoft. So when you look at the bugs in comparison, uh, uh, and my choice, overwhelmingly, if because I have this technical skill that I, that I don't mind sitting down and working around the bugs, uh, Linux is my choice every time. But I can see that if you are not the type of person who, who is willing to sort of sit down and work with something for a bit, that Windows would be your choice. But the thing is that you're never going to end, end up with the end, that frustration that you have with Windows. If you're the type of person who uh, you, you really want something out of the box, the choice would be, if you didn't want to spend the money on a Macintosh, is to go with a tablet. Right now, your choice, the best choice for the average user is a tablet. It has most of the functionality that a PC or a laptop would have. And this is for the average user. And it has portability. And with this connect is, is Wi-Fi and, and phone connectivity, you have... Uh, Basically, you're, you can have your internet anywhere you want, so you're not really tied down, so you can really operate and work on a tablet. I mean, even if you, if you wanted to be so, uh, uh, you know, PC as to, say, you wanted something lap, a laptop, a laptop style, um, you could go with a netbook, but again, you'd be running the same problem that you'd be, you'd be running Windows. What you would is this, you want to move off the Windows platform, and the one that provides the best platforms for the cost is an Android an Android tablet. Android uh, produces uh, uh, something something comparable to Apple in terms of what it offers, but it doesn't have the drawbacks that uh, Microsoft has. And if you don't know who Android is, Android is Google. So basically, your two choices uh, for tablets and the uh, smartphones, uh, uh, avoiding the uh, Microsoft trap, trap of getting into their products and then being locked into their products, uh, is either Android or uh, Apple. Those are the two. Those are the two. Uh, but barring that. Uh, These are sort of my suggestions from what I've seen other people uh, in their comments on both Windows and Linux. And I think what's going to happen over the next few years is that you're going to see uh, basically the desktop and even to a larger extent the laptop really being uh, pushed back in favor of the new tablets that are coming out and the ones that have already come out. So, uh, as for today, moving on to the next topic,
and I think that's where I have a problem. I have a problem segueing from uh, or moving f one, from one topic to the next. Um, I still have a little, mo little bit more fixing up to do back here, and uh, as I said, we should see some of the first uh, comments coming out later on today, uh, probably within about an hour or so. Well, one thing I've, I've forgotten to mention, the way uh, YouTube works, it takes about an hour to process the video. So, although the first tag that has been uploaded comes up at one time, the actual posting, and I post this uh, to Facebook and to Google+, uh, doesn't come for about another hour. So, this uh, video won't be uh, upgraded until at least 1.30, 1.30 quarter to 2. All right, that's about it for now. Uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on.